Hope you guys enjoy this quick and easy makeup look I created for TikTok. To prime my eyelids, I am using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Light Beige, blending it out with the Morphe M173 brush. The reason why I like using the Born This Way concealer is because it cancels out the darkness from my eyes and I like using a lighter shade because it does show better pigmentation of the eyeshadows. So for the eyeshadow palette, I am using the BH Cosmetics and Daisy Marquez palette using the BH Cosmetics number 5 eyeshadow brush using the color Dulce. I like to pack on the color on my eyelid and start blending it out to the crease. Using the same number 5 brush, I get the color Vintage and I start placing it a little bit under the crease color and I start blending that out as well, deepening up the crease. Next, using the Morphe R32 brush and the color Bittersweet, I start focusing that color on the outer edge, trying to deepen up my outer corner. To cut my crease, I go with the Born This Way concealer using the Morphe M705 brush. And since I do have hooded eyes, I had to start off slowly, step back, and kind of go above my crease in order to make it seem like I have a bigger eyelid. With the same number 5 brush, whatever eyeshadow I had left, I start blending out the outer corner where the concealer meets the eyeshadow. Picking up the color Dulce, I start placing it towards the mid part of the cut crease, blending it out to the darker end. I do use the color Naked to place it on the front part of the eye. Using the BH number 9 brush and the shade Icy, I place that in my inner corners. The lashes that I'm using is from the brand iVibe Lash in the style Drip. These lashes are very beautiful. I actually got it sent from them. Thank you so much iVibe. If you guys would like to check out their lashes, they do have their Instagram page under iVibe. Go check them out. To color correct under my eyes, I am using the Dragon Beauty Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion to cancel out my dark circles. To blend the concealer, I do use the Morphe M705 brush just to blend it out and it does have a little bit of the leftover from the Born This Way concealer as well. For foundation I am using the Meet Your Hue Dose of Colors in the shade 122 medium tan and I start using a beauty blender and start bouncing it all over my face. The concealer that I'm using is from Juvia's Place in the shade 15 and I like to use this to cover and highlight my under eyes. For contour, I am using the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Foundation in Deep Neutral and I start placing that under my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, and against my jawline. To blend out the contour, I do use the BH Cosmetics Number no. 2 brush and it is an angled brush. And I like using this one so much because it works well with a lot of creams and look at foundations. Every time that I use a brush, I always go in back with my beauty blender and I start blending out everything. Last thing I want is to have any streak marks from the brushes. I do you I do blend out my concealer starting from my chin to my nose up to my forehead. I tend to do my under eye last because I like to let my concealer sit there. The longer I let it dry, the more full coverage it will be. To set my under eye, I am using the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder. And this is the translucent powder. Um, I love this powder so much to set my under eye. For eyebrows, I am using the Kat Von D Eyebrow in the shade Walnut, using it with my Morphe brush, my M158. I do have a full brow, so when I do my eyebrows, I always line the bottom and the top part, and I just blend it out within my hair, and it automatically darkens it up. 
Um, but yeah. To highlight, I use one of my favorites, which is Becca in the shade Opal, using the Morphe M510 brush. All right, and to set the makeup, I do use the ABH Dewy Setting Spray. Um, I love this spray because I do have dry skin and it helps me with my dry skin. And I do like using this fan. I actually got this fan off Amazon. Um, it's by Tony Honey. I like using this fan whenever I do setting spray on myself or even on clients when I've done people's makeup. For the lips, I am using the gloss in the shade Truffle and this is from Dosa Colors. I actually got this from the Truffle Collection. Alright guys, well this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed my video, uh, my first YouTube video. Um, I hope to be posting more videos soon. Um, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, it's all under JVBeauty64. Thank you. Bye.